Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing the great shovel debate in the archaeology community about what type of shovels are best to use to do our job. As you may or may not have noticed, we spend a lot of our time digging holes <laughs> and therefore there's a lot of discussion on site and else in the pub about the best type of shovel to use to do this. Because we're not exactly the biggest discipline, a lot of our tools we have to adapt from like standard gardening stuff. <laughs> So it, yeah, it can be a bit interesting sometimes about where you can find these things or where you have to look in order to get them. And today I just want to kind of discuss the different types of shovels that you can use, the pros and cons for using all, all different types, and then as well where you can get them and my own personal preferences. Every archaeological company that you work for should be providing you with tools to do your job, including shovels. However, the type of shovel that's provided will vary depending on where you work, either by country or just by company. Sometimes they just have a variety of different ones that people like to use. So it's really kind of a mixed bag about what you're going to get, which definitely le leads to as people develop their career they will have a certain preference for a certain type of shovel and eventually that will lead to them just buying it on their own and then they just take it with them to job to job and are very territorial about people not stealing it if they like it. So yeah some people like to do that but some people are just happy to adapt them to whatever their circumstances are and of course it's up to your your own discretion to decide what you want to do. My very first experience with using a shovel to dig in archaeology was when I started working in commercial archaeology back home in Canada and here we were expected to use a shovel for about 90% of our digging and we could only use a trowel at the very end to kind of neaten stuff up. So you kind of had to learn really quickly and you had to learn how to use a little bit of finesse in your technique when you're shoveling. We use what I call a long-handled round bladed shovel which also has uh, at the top of the shovel like a little bit of folded metal over top that you can use to put your like if you want to put your foot against it. I personally now since I had spent so much time having to use this every single day is my personal preference for a type of shovel to use. I find that there's a lot more benefits than negatives to using it. But the biggest pro for me is the fact that it's a lot easier to use on my back to use because the length of the shovel handle just makes it so much easier in terms of you can get a little bit more leverage out of it and the, you do not having to bend over to pick something up. You can kind of like lever it up using the using your arms rather than having to use your back even though yes I know you're not supposed to use your back to lift stuff you're supposed to use your legs but like let's be honest people use their back. I also find that being that I am a not super muscly weightlifting individual the leverage that I can get out of using this is quite good so you can stick it into the ground and use it to lever back and forth at your face level to kind of get a big bit of dirt out and this is not really as easy to do with other types of shovels. As well, the folded over bit at the very top of it, you can put your boot against that, use it to kick it into the ground when the ground is very hard or baked, like baked clay or something like that. And uh, in some cases, I've even been known to kind of jump on the top of it because I used to work in a pretty much pure clay site during the summer, which was awful. <clears throat> but in this case the shovel itself was really good for that. The cons to it I guess would be the fact that they wear down pretty easily because the round bit it tends to kind of do a little divot when you've used it for a really long time but at that case you can just throw it out and get a new shovel anyway. I mean they're gonna break and stop being able to use it at some point. Uh, as well, they're a little bit less easy to transport because the long handle makes it a bit harder to fit into smaller spaces. So say if you're somebody that's working and driving to a site with your own car, it might be a bit more difficult to fit a shovel in there. Uh, whereas a short handle shovel will be better. Now I went from having to use a long handled round pointed shovel like all the time in Canada and pretty much only using that like the majority of the time I was digging to coming to the UK and work and when I started working here my world was turned upside down <laughs> by the shovels that they tend to use over here. They actually use typically more than one type of shovel when they're digging here which again I was not used to at all. I was kind of told when I started back home like this is your shovel learn how to use it. 
that's it. Like you don't get to take an easier route, so to speak. The typical shovel that you're going to see pretty much everywhere you go is a short handled square or tapered shovel as seen here. And these, I personally have a really, really big beef with using. I don't personally like them. I know some people do, but I hate them. My personal reason, again, the reason I like the long ha longer handled shovels is that they are better for my back. These ones are awful. If I have to spend a whole day using one of these, my back is just like killing me because you're really having to bend over to pick everything up. I don't know why they insist on using them here. I think it's partially like a gardening thing. Again, a lot of the tools that you find in gardening centers and stuff are what we end up using in the field, so it's influenced by that. But like why gardeners are so sure that they have to use like a shovel that's like half the height of themselves, like I don't know. One of the pros to these is that because the blade of them is a square, it's a lot easier to cut a straight section and a 90 degree corner when you're digging. However, anybody that tries to tell me that you can't do that with a rounded curved kind of shovel is, you know, ne has never worked in Canada because I had to learn how to do it and I know people who are a lot better than I am who just like it is immaculate. You would not know the difference. Uh, additionally, if you're trying to make like a smooth level piece of ground, these are just going to be better and faster because you're not going to have to go over it as much to make sure it's smooth because it's already got a flat base to it as opposed to the round pointed shovels tend to have a bit of a curve. They also have a t weird tendency with these ones to make them really heavy. So sometimes like for example on the site I'm working on right now, the shovel, some of the shovels they have are entirely made out of metal and they are like so visible, they are so heavy and so inconvenient to use. I, I don't know why they buy these all metal ones because they're just inconvenient and they just make the job so much harder than it needs to be. Now the square shovels are fine but they also tend to use sometimes over here a lot of spades which are going to, are this very similar to a square handed shovel but the blade is a lot narrower as seen here. So they're designed for cutting just like cutting down. They're not really designed for lifting dirt. So people will generally tend to use them to either straighten up a section, cut a corner, or whatever, but they're not going to use them necessarily to like get spoil away unless you're a girl and the amount of dirt that you get on a wider blade is obviously going to be a lot more than on a narrower blade. So the bigger blade is going to be heavier. So a lot of girls, if they have a hard time with the square shovels, they'll use these kind of narrow rectangular spades to do their lifting instead, which of course will take them a little bit longer, but it's easier on your back and you're not like killing yourself lifting something that's just too heavy for you, which doesn't matter where you're working and how much pressure there is, like you shouldn't be killing yourself and killing your back for your job. If you're someone that doesn't like using a short handled shovel here, typically what they're gonna give you is what's called an Irish shovel. I have no idea why. Maybe they use them a lot in Ireland. But it's pictured here and as you can see there's a slight difference to the round pointed shovel in that the it's a lot more triangular so the blade itself comes to a point and they typically don't have that folded over bit at the very top for you to put your boot on. So they, for me at least, are much more in, are just almost as bad as using the short handled ones because if I want to try and use it and kick it into the soil, like it's just going to be a flat, like a sharp bit of metal that I'm just like pushing into my boot, which is uncomfortable. And the sharp point, I just, I don't know, it just, it just doesn't work as well for me. I just don't really like it. Uh, they also have a weird tendency for like the handles to be like really 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 thick around to the point where like I cannot put my entire hand around the haft of the um, shovel handle and it's just too big for my hands and so like how am I supposed to use that. However they are supposed to be really good at just like cutting through stuff uh, and you do get a bit more sh dirt onto your shovel than you would a spade so sometimes people prefer to use them that way but I don't really see the point. I'd rather have a round pointed uh, shovel. The current company that I'm working for only has square bladed short sh handled shovels for the majority of the workers and they will not provide a 
preferential one, I guess, for people who ask for it. When I first started, they had one long-handled shovel that I started using. However, uh, we got someone on site who's like over six feet tall, and he physically cannot use the shorter handled uh, uh, shovels, so he got given the longer handled one, and I had to go back to using the short handled one, which I was really ticked off about, but that's just semantics. I can't really expect a company to buy something specifically for me when I'm not a permanent employee. So I made the decision to buy my own shovel, which is a, a True Temper One For You TT RPS J Round Point Shovel from Amazon. <laughs> I got it delivered to the company. I actually ended up getting two, but that's a story for another time. And I have so far really enjoyed using this shovel. It's very similar to the ones that I have used back home, and it makes things just a lot easier for me in general. I find my range of movement is really a lot better with it and I can just lever stuff up and it just makes my life so much easier. And I've put my own uh, pink duct tape on it, my stamp of what is mine so people can't steal it. I've really enjoyed using it so far and it hasn't broken which, you know, considering the amount of wear that archaeologists tend to put shovels through, if it hasn't broken in like the first couple months then you're like good to go. Now, if you want to buy your own shovel, it is incredibly difficult sometimes to <laughs> It is, can be incredibly difficult to find one in store if you're looking for something that's a little bit off the beaten track in terms of it's not a short-handled square-bladed shovel when you're shopping in the UK. And unfortunately, uh, so as I said, I bought mine on Amazon. I looked around at a couple different places that you would typically buy that kind of stuff here and just nobody had it. So I had to resort to buying it online on Amazon. Other places that you would look for a shovel to buy one in the UK would include like Dobby's Gardening World, I've seen lots of shovels there, uh, B&Q. I have a uh, ex coworker who bought an Irish shovel at home base. So typically you just have to kind of look for a homewares store or like a hardware store or somewhere that specializes in gardening and that's where you'll be able to find most shovels. As I said before, sometimes it can also be really beneficial to get your own because companies will buy them for you, but they will do it on the cheap. So they're not going to get something that's really good quality and it can just end up being really shitty and make your job that much more difficult than it needs to be. So, I mean, definitely when you're starting out, you don't need to have one that's your own. But as you kind of get more into the career and you have a preference, if you're making enough money, feel free to buy one <laughs> and just take it around with you wherever it goes, but keep an eye on it. Archaeologists are such kleptomaniacs when it comes to good equipment because <laughs> we have such a hodgepodge of stuff and like sometimes if you're on a site and you see something that you like, you just like, people will just take it. They'll just assume that they can take it and they just will. So unless you keep an eye on your site, your stuff, if people really like it, there's every chance that it could just like walk away from you. <laughs> so just be aware of that when you get your own stuff in, in that if you're going to invest a lot of money into something, you know, it could eventually go walk about. Not because people are malicious or anything, but they might not know that it's yours. They might just think like, oh, here's a shovel. It's not being used. I'm just going to use it. And they just take it and then you've, it's disappeared into the ether and you're never going to see it again. As per usual, I hope this was helpful and informative for you guys. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Like or subscribe if you feel like doing so. I'm trying to get on a bit more of a regular video schedule for you, so we'll see whether or not that actually happens. But I actually bought myself a fancy tripod today, and <laughs> so I'm semi-committed to doing this, you know, semi-part-time. So yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye!